Hello Lions, this is your video helper for your AP World History Project 1900-2001. Uh, you can go to readylibrary.com and click on AP World History Project. Uh, here we're going to go to Mac and Via. Once you're ready to log into Mac and Via, you're going to go type Reedy High School and your six digit student ID and your eight digit birthday. Staff will use their ADS logon and password and you're going to click login. Once you're in here, the group you're going to work with is your uh, AP World History 19 or 2001 project. Here in the instructions will be all of your um, class Google Sites that you're going to be working on, your topics, and a link to the tech menu for the assignment right there. Um, you can collapse the instructions. From this, you can open up directly into your Google Drive. To work on stuff. Um, this right here is uh, the Purdue Online Writing Lab APA Formatting and Style Guide. You will be using APA format for this assignment and for your um, citations from this assignment. So you will not have a works cited page but you will have a reference page and so here is uh, information about how to um, cite things and create your um, reference page in APA uh, format. That's going to be here. So that's that link. Uh, the databases that I have pulled for you, you are going to be required to have images for this assignment. So you will need to cite any image that you decide to use for this assignment. So you can use ImageQuest from Britannica. This is going to be uh, a great resource for you. So let's say you have World War II. Uh, you can use any of the images in here. Let's say you want to use this one. You just click on it and you click on citation and you're going to want to make sure that it says APA. And then you're going to copy and paste that citation into your Works Cited page and then you are free to use the image in your assignment. Um, for this assignment, because your some of your topics are rather big and rather broad, you may want to um, consider starting with an encyclopedia. You can start with Britannica School uh, or World Book. And when you start with an encyclopedia, it's just going to give you a little bit of information about uh, what could be a rather large topic. So let's say I want to look up this article right here. You're going to want to uh, cite this article by clicking on Cite right here and you're going to want to make sure it says APA and then copy and paste. You're going to copy and paste the citation into your references page. You can also go to World Book and you're probably going to want to use the student interface right here. So you're going to put it in your topic and if you want to use the Great Depression article here. The citations in World Book are all the way at the bottom of the article. So you're going to scroll down to see the APA and copy and paste that into your reference page. Once you have a little bit uh, broader understanding about your topic, then you can move on to some of these other sources. Um, one of my favorites is Student Resources in Context. This is a great resource, especially for the type of topics that y'all are working on. So you can put in your topic here and you will notice that um, over here on the right it's going to give you lots of information so feature content there's four of those reference there's 103 biographies there's 13 images there's 17 you can use images from this source as well primary sources uh, audio video news magazines academic journals websites so pretty much you can click on any of these topics so let's say i want to use this article right here and over here on the right, you're going to have the citation tools. You're going to click on that citation tools and choose APA and copy and paste this into your reference page. You can also, um, in this particular database, you can log into your Google Drive and then you can uh, download or save any of the resources you use in this database directly to your Google Drive. So that this is um, a really great resource for this assignment. Um, one of the other ones you may want to use is Gale Power Search. It's going to be kind of similar to the one we just looked at. 
And so this one gives you 16,000 academic journal articles, 8,000 books, 129,000 news, images. Um, you are probably going to want to, in some cases, do um, an advanced search on some of these topics and kind of narrow your search terms a little more to get some information, uh, some more clear information. But let's just say I wanted to use this article right here. Again, my citation tool is right here, and when I click on it, I can copy and paste my APA citation. Um, Explora by EBSCO is going to, again, be along some of these same lines, so I'm going to put in my search term, click search, and I'm going to notice over here I can uh, limit my search by types, academic journals, magazines, news, books, primary source documents, um, etc. So again, you may want to do a more advanced search and narrow down your uh, search terms. But let's just say I want this article right here. I'm going to come over here to the side. And so over here in this article, the site is this little paper looking thing right here. And when you click on it, you'll be able to find the um, APA citation right there and put that into your references page. All right, so that is Explora. Um, GVRL and eBury are going to have um, nonfiction ebooks and reference materials in them. So you can copy and paste your search term in here, but just know that these are going to be um, much longer pieces probably. So for instance, this is pages 345 to 350. So this is five pages from a book. Um, so you're just going to want to know that GVRL and eBury are both um, going to give you ebooks. But just like anything else over here, you can decide if you're looking for biographies or encyclopedias or if you want to narrow your search term by subject. Um, and just like in everything else, there's going to be citation tools. So if, if you wanted to use this particular article or this particular excerpt, you can click on APA and copy and paste the citation. Um, this is another one of those where you can sign into Google. Okay. Um, just as with any of the research projects that y'all do here, uh, we also have ABC Clio for history. This is a great database for history. So since my topic is Great Depression, I'm going to want to choose uh, the database that reflects what my uh, topic is about. And then over here, you can um, reference articles, biographies, timelines, photos and illustrations. You're welcome to use any of this um, information as sources. Uh, so let's just say I want to use this first one as a source. Okay, I can cite this document right up here. There's my APA. Copy and paste it into my um, reference list. If you have any questions as you're going along in this assignment, you can come see me in the library or you can email me at lambertn at friscoisd.org and I will be happy to help you with any of the research related questions that you may have for this assignment. Thanks Lions.